Hey guys, it's a lovely day outside and it's time for the MCM5 250km update review. So let's get into it. seen the initial review of the MCM5 then you know that it's a brilliant wheel for an urban environment so that's why I decided to to actually try it and really see if it's that good and these are my findings Looking at the wheel and especially the handle because I use it alongside public transport to get to work so that's why it's very important for me to be a pleasant experience when you're not on when you're not riding the wheel when you're just pushing it along because I push the wheel along maybe more than average because of all the commuting I use the trolley handle on the MCM5 pretty much daily and I'm very pleasantly surprised with it. I initially thought it would be a bit difficult especially because you have the, at the very top it's really pointy or oh, it's, it's quite sharp so initially I thought that could cause a problem but actually in day-to-day day -day use I had no issues with that whatsoever. I really like the height of the trolley handle, I find it very comfortable. The only issue that I have with the handle is when you push it all the way down, it, it gets a bit stuck. It's really stiff when you want the handle back up, so I find that it's better if you keep it almost all the way down but not quite click into place, because it's faster if you want to get it up and then just start pushing the wheel. Ready, steady. I can say that the riding experience of the MCM5 is really good. The 14 inch tire is very agile, so I really like how it rides and, and you feel like you have way more control because it's, it's a smaller tire so you're able to just go in and out of places where a larger tire would struggle. The range of the MCM5 is holding on, even though I'm doing only a few miles going from home to work and back. I had no issues with battery whatsoever and I still charge it like once or twice a week, depending if I'm riding more or not. Oh and guys... If you have any recommendations for cool helmets, I would love to hear them because I'm in the market to uh, buy a helmet. So I would love if you can just write down in the comments what helmets you're wearing or any suggestions that um, I can look into and then buy myself a, a good helmet, finally. The MCM5 is a very powerful machine. It has a 1500 watt motor, which I think it makes it the most powerful 14 inch wheel on the market at the moment. With so much power, you're able to go uphill no problem whatsoever. And because you have a big battery, 800 watt hours, plus the 1500 watt motor, combined with a 14 inch tire, that makes the machine very sturdy. Just everything is so compact, so you really feel the punch of the wheel when you accelerate. Another thing to mention is that the MCM5 has a fan. After riding for a long time, you can hear the fan kicking off. And that helps with cooling down the components so you don't have any overheating with the unit. Let's talk about the foot plates. They're actually very sturdy and the surface gives you a good grip. I've tried it in the rain, although it wasn't like proper rain, uh, but still it performed really well. Whilst riding, I have no problem with the foot plates. I do have problem when I'm pushing the wheel. And what happens? Because the foot plates are attached magnetically, sometimes when you're pushing the wheel and you go down the pavement onto the road or you go over a hole, what happens is the foot plates just fall off and then you have to kick them back on. 
which is a problem only if you're pushing the wheel for a long period of time. But I think that's a trade-off that I'm willing to take because when I'm riding the wheel, I can easily just flick the foot plate down instead of bending down. So I have, I have some mixed feelings. I do like it, but at the same time, I find it slightly annoying. Talking about the foot plates, you have on the side, you have the sticker, the Gotway sticker, which initially I thought I would struggle with that because it seemed to peel off fairly easily. But as I have been riding the wheel for a few weeks now and I had no problems with, with them whatsoever, they're still on it and they haven't peeled off at all, which is, is a very pleasant surprise, I would say. Another thing that I like about the wheel is that you have a shut off sensor. So when you lift the wheel up, it disconnects the motor and the wheel. So you don't have the out of control spinning. But sometimes that doesn't work for me. Sometimes my fingers slip off the sensor and then the wheel starts spinning out of control and that had happened several times when I was going down the stairs at the train station and it's really awkward. I had a chat with Ian about it and he told me that my hands are small <laughs> and then he laughed at me and then he went to work. So your knowledge may vary but I think that my hands are reasonably sized. They're not small at all. They're just perfectly sized in my opinion. One thing I have noticed when you're riding the um, left foot plate so when you're accelerating you can feel the left foot plate slightly vibrating and it's it's actually a bit of a it's a funny feeling it's more like it's a bit ticklish it doesn't really bother me at all uh, but it's just something to note The MCM5 has been a brilliant machine for the past few weeks that I've been using it and I might even like it more than the K16S although I need I need more miles before I can I can say that for sure but I'm very pleasantly surprised because initially I didn't think I would like it because I have tried it only for a little bit and I wasn't wasn't that impressed and also I'm not the biggest fan of the aesthetic but I'm I'm starting to change my mind and actually it is a really good machine. I'm very, very pleasantly surprised. Yeah, there are like little things here and there with the, with the lift sensor and, and the handle and the foot plates dropping, but like these aren't really linked with riding. They're more linked with my personal use because I, I push the wheel a lot, probably more than the average uh, unicycle rider would do. The MCM5 is not a perfect unicycle but the perfect wheel doesn't exist so I'm very very pleasantly surprised by how it has been performing because I had some reservations before I started using the MCM5 but actually I really like the wheel now using it for a few weeks I got used to it it's not too heavy and the 14 inch wheel makes it really agile so you have a lot of flexibility when you're moving around subjects and it just feels like you have more more control it's just tighter the way it rides and i really like that when when you go on a bigger wheel like an ks18 or like a z10 just like the the big tire just makes like it takes more to turn them the wheel while with with the mcn5 i have no problem turning and just feels really really natural thank you guys for watching the video i hope my experience has been helpful uh, if you want to make a decision whether you want to get this wheel or not and do let me know about helmets because i need to get a proper helmet some, something that's light, but something also that's not crazy expensive. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to your comments.